carpenter school, and um, I excelled in that, and I was a parachutist, and uh, also a heavy drop specialist, okay. Um, I just, I enjoyed myself there, and that, I was in an NCO outfit in order where if you had to uh, advance to that in order to be in that outfit, and so I got into that outfit, and that was great for me. And uh, after that, it turned into a recon outfit. Mm -hmm. So I we all wore jump wings and whatever. It was very proud, very proud. Mm -hmm. So I enjoyed myself. I really did. Now this was the Marine Corps. This was in the Marine Corps, right. My first son, uh, who's now 51 years old, he was born down at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. Oh. Yeah, I got married while I was in service. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Christmas Day, 1954. And then you went into the Army after that? I came out in 61 and then got a job and worked with Chrysler and all that, you know. Uh -huh. And then I went back in in 79, oh. okay. And um, I excelled in that too because I had Marine Corps training and they thought I was pretty sharp. And I went to drill sergeant school. And so I was in a training outfit. So I did my training. I was a drill sergeant all the time I was there until I made first sergeant, then I ran a drill sergeant company. Mm -hmm. So I trained most of the time I was in from 79 to 96. All different mm -hmm. bases, you know, uh -huh. all around the states. Oh, and that, uh, you were in within the United States yes. all that time? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. And um, you had, how did you, uh, well, you looked like, I mean, you uh, sounded like you, uh, enjoyed your um, your training and also the life in the, in the service. I did, I did, I did. After you get some rank, you can start enjoying oh, yourself. Yes. <laughs> and then, and, and did you like the food? The food was fine. Well, mm -hmm. I was okay. It was good. I had no problem with it. Good. And what about your social life? Social life was very good. I enjoyed that too. We had a good time. At, uh, to the NCO clubs and whatever, you know. But I, I kept it at a minimum, you know. Mm -hmm. I was always spiritual, and so I just, you know, to a certain level, didn't over, go overboard. Uh-huh. Okay. Good. And, um, and so that, um, were, were, did you ever uh, serve outside of the United States? The only place I went was Tampico, Mexico. We had a uh, heavy drop outfit because they had a flood there and we had to drop beans on top of rooftops and all that. But I didn't go outside the United States uh, for war or anything because I was a sole surviving son. I was the only one left out of my family, so I was on my way, but they, they pulled my order, so I didn't go. Mm -hmm. But was there, but you were in during a war? Yes, During yes. Vietnam? Right, no, Korea. Oh, Korea. Korea, right, yeah, they wouldn't allow me to go. Uh huh. I wanted to, but they wouldn't let me go. Uh -huh. They wouldn't let me go. Well, uh, you did well. Um, how long were you in Mexico? Before it was care about a month. It was uh -huh. about a month, yes. Uh -huh. Well, I'm sure you did a yeah, lot. It was sort of like uh, the same thing that happened down in Katrina. New in Katrina, exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's really something like the National Guard does. You know, or well, no, that's, that's not so. Uh, it could be... Um, that regular army do things like uh -huh. that, you know, and uh, they can call you up and send you wherever they want to, mm -hmm. to help out. Mm -hmm. well, that's yeah, very good. And because uh, we were in a special outfit, that's mm -hmm. why we, you know, right. drop stuff here mm -hmm. and all that. Yeah. And um, how about the friendships uh, that you formed during the time you were in the service? Oh. Did you have numerous, a lot of friends? Numerous friends, numerous friends. Um, while I was on the bass and what have you, I was in the choir, I sang, and I played ping pong off the bass champ and all that stuff, you know. I, I just had a good time, mm -hmm. I really did. I enjoyed uh, my drill sergeant training, and I, I liked the training troops. I enjoyed that, yeah. State and sharp, state physical, mm -hmm. yeah, I enjoyed that. You were, uh, were able to cope with the discipline. Oh yeah, it. definitely, definitely. More matured, you know. After mm -hmm. the eight years in the Corps, I was ready. And um, war, numerous awards, uh, Soldier of the Year, um, Drill Sergeant of the Year, several times, you know. Good. And uh, a lot of medals, 
expert marksman uh, with the grenade and pistol and all uh, this. Uh, they have what they call a combat, um, not the EIB, but the CIB, Combat Infantry Badge. Mm -hmm. That's when you go into combat. I had the EIB, which is a, uh, what do you call it, the uh, Expert Infantry Badge. Mm -hmm. That's the highest badge you can get while you're in service, without wartime. That's mm -hmm. a, a blue badge with the rifle without mm -hmm. the reef around it. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Yeah. So you have to excel in everything in order uh -huh. to get that. You have different stages. You have to go with different things, tasks that you have to do mm -hmm. in order to uh, achieve that badge. Not a whole lot of people get that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's, that's um, really, you've had a lot of good training. Yes, I did. That's, those are the training outfits, right?